Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> it's a pleasure to welcome Excellency Mr. George Alvarez Kufis. Dear Minister Sharma, dear Mr. Jalan, distinguished uh, business leaders from India and Greece, Mr. Ambassador, friends and colleagues, I would like to thank you for your warm uh, welcome. I'm extremely happy to be visiting India, a country with an old civilization and culture, a rapidly growing economy, and some of the best scientists in the world. I heard Mr. Jalan talk about democracy before. We in Greece are proud to have been the world's oldest democracy, and we're also very proud that India is the world's largest democracy for so long. And of course, one of the emerging economies in the world. The peoples of uh, India and Greece have always respected each other's culture and history, despite the distance that separates our countries. In today's global vi village, of course, the distance is being shortened all the time. We are closer than ever before. We can visit each other as never before. We can do business together. We can work together to make this world a safer and more prosperous place to live in. It is very satisfactory to see that the political, economic and business relations of India and Greece are getting stronger. I firmly believe, however, that we can do much more than we have done in the past. Indeed, there is plenty of room for further enhancing our cooperation. We can increase trade, investment, tourist flows between our countries. We can work together even more closely in order to reap the benefits of global economic integration. The Greek delegation includes many distinguished businessmen. I know that we can forge a closer cooperation between our two countries in several sectors. The Indian market offers enormous potential for Greek products, and the European Union, Southeastern Europe and Greece have a lot to offer to the Indian economy. Greece can be a valuable ally to Indian companies that wish to establish a presence in the European market, and of course the rapidly developing market of Southeastern Europe in particular. Southeastern Europe is very quickly becoming one of the fastest growing regions in Europe. It is becoming more homogeneous and more integrated as a market. As you know, Bulgaria and Romania joined the European Union last month. There is only one direction for this region of 100, 140 million people. And this direction is closer economic integration, higher living standards, rapid economic development, more open and more efficient markets. Greece plays a major role in the development of Southeastern Europe. It thus offers concrete advantages to Indian companies wishing to participate in the opportunities that this region has to offer. Greece, as you know, has been a member of the European Union for the past 25 years. In fact, for 26 years now. Greece offers important opportunities to investors. One can gain access to the services of 3,600 Greek companies that operate in the Balkans and the Eastern Mediterranean. One can gain access through Greece to a very wide network of 1,000 Greek banking offices outside Greek borders, which act as a catalyst in the economies of neighboring countries. And one can take advantage of Greece's infrastructure experience and infrastructure preparations in becoming a significant transfer and transit trade facility in the Eastern Mediterranean and Southeastern Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, after two and a half years of consistent application, the reform policies that we have been pursuing have led to significant and identifiable results. The performance of the Greek economy has 
exceeded initial anticipations, as of course has the performance of the Indian economy after the reforms that, were, that started in the early 90s. The Greek economy is being transformed into a more dynamic, more open, and more competitive economy. It is becoming even friendlier to investment and entrepreneurship, even more favorable to business activity, and as a direct result, there has been a tenfold increase of foreign investment over the last year. Foreign direct investment in Greece reached 4 billion euros in the period from January to November 2006, and it is, it is, this is equivalent to 2% of our GDP. Then the, num the number of reforms that the government has uh, initiated since 2004 have led to the tackling of a number of problems that the Greek economy was facing in the past, such as a prolonged period of deterioration of competitiveness, persistently high budget deficits, deep-rooted structural imbalances, and high unemployment rates. Today we can see that one can see that a lot has changed. The economy is being transformed. We have managed to cut the, bu the public deficit from 7.8% of GDP in 2004 to 2.4% of GDP last year, in 2006. This year it is said to go to 2.4%. Uh, we have managed to stimulate investment through reductions of corporate tax rates and the simplification of tax-related procedures. The corporate tax rate stands at 25% today, compared to 35% in 2004. At the same time, we have provided considerable investment incentives within the framework of an investment incentives law that was put in effect in March 2005. We have also managed to enhance the competitiveness of our country, and as a result, our exports and tourism are driving economic growth by rising much faster than gross domestic product. We have also stimulated competition through the implementation of a carefully designed program of privatizations and liberalization of the economy. The business environment is improving significantly, and this is demonstrated by all business sentiment indicators, as well, of course, as the stock market. As a result of all this, the rate of growth is accelerating and employment is rising. The rate of growth last year exceeded 4%. Exceeded our anticipations. Our forecast was that the rate of growth would, would be below slide, would be sl below 4%, slightly below 4%. It exceeded 4%. For by European standards, I know that this does not impress our Indian colleagues, since India has a rate of growth which uh, has exceeded 9% in the last year. But by European standards, this is a very high rate of growth. It is more than double the rate of growth of other economies in the Eurozone. Unemployment has fallen. And most importantly, all expectations that after the Olympic Games, Greece would enter into a recession have been falsified. Greece today looks ahead with optimism and self-confidence. Within the framework of the significant efforts that are being made, we are able to deal better with the challenges that we face. We stand ready to contribute and participate in the opportunities arising in Southeastern Europe, and we are determined to achieve much more. We serve as the de facto business and financial center of Southeastern Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean. This is a region of almost 200, 250 million inhabitants. The macroeconomic and business environment signals definite improvements. Our companies strengthen their position in the region, they become bigger and more competitive, and by investing in Greece, one participates in the greater opportunities that are emerging in the region. By cooperating with Greek companies, our Indian friends can expand their reach in a region poised to achieve very rapid growth in the years to come. Greece is the ideal business partner for those who wish to be part of the economic progress of the region and we can become the gateway for Indian companies wishing to establish a presence in this region. Thank you very much for your attention. We shall continue at the political level to...
pursue further ties. Uh, the agreements that uh, minister, the minister alluded to, we hope, will be signed very, very soon. And we are looking forward to a very fruitful cooperation between the Indian and Greek business leaders that participate in this event. Thank you very much.